Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Casey. I am 18 years old and I currently have a two month old daughter. Maggie is right next to me, so I am expecting to be interrupted at some point during this video and probably pretty soon. But this video is gonna be my top newborn must-haves. She is now eight weeks old, so she's out of the newborn stage and into the more baby interactive stage. I thought I'd film a video and let you guys know what got me through the first eight weeks of having a baby. A lot of the products I don't actually have with me, so I will be inserting photos. <coughs> oh my goodness, who are you talking to? Are you telling everyone? So like I was saying, I don't actually have a lot of the products with me right this second but I will be inserting photos. The first product I wanna be talking about is muslin wraps. Now, I could probably show you, she's laying on it right now, but these are a lifesaver because they can be used for so many different things. When she came home, she liked to be swaddled a lot. So I use that quite often to wrap her up. Um, she isn't a very sicky baby, but they can also be used to wipe sick. I've laid her down on it to change her bum, just to have tummy time. Really, these muslin wraps can be used for so many things and they are so good because they are so big. I don't really prefer, I don't really prefer them than the normal muslins because they are so big. I'm sorry, but she is chatting away in the background so you guys can probably hear her. You're being funny today. Um, so yeah, these wraps are so good and I wish I got more to be honest because I only have three. As you can see, Maggie clearly really likes these products. So yeah, they're probably my favourite one on the list. But again, these are all my favourite. The next thing on my list, which is this product, is a baby wrap. Now, when they're first born, they're quite small and they can't really fit in the slings that you buy that like buckle. And I didn't get this until she was probably about two weeks, two, three weeks old. And as soon as I got it, it was a lifesaver. Maggie is very, I wouldn't say clingy. Maggie likes to be held and I am, Maggie likes to be held a lot and I want to hold her, but I also need to get things done. So when I wrap her up in this, she is, she's content she gets to sleep and I get to get things done as well. So this is my probably must have out of all these items. If you were to pick one, I can get so much done with this. I just cleaned the bathroom the other day while having her in a sling. And what's really nice about it is I can still do skin to skin with her while her being wrapped up, especially in this heat, because having a baby on you can be very hot. So having her in a sling, well, having skin to skin is really nice. I'm not really sure how big these slings go up to, but Maggie is two months old now, and she definitely looks like she has got a lot more growing to go into it. So I think they last quite a while, which is why I think they're so good, because they do last so long. And it is just all fabric. It's like one really long strip, and you just tie it up around you. They can look quite complicated to begin with, but once you get the hang of it, it is so easy and so quick to do. The next thing on my list is a hands-free breast pump. Now this, again, I'm saying this for every one of them, is a lifesaver. So I don't have to sit there manually pumping and I don't have to sit down at all. I can be walking around. I can be getting jobs done around in the house. Now the one I have is the, the one I have is the mum cozy one. Um, I've seen a lot of things on TikTok about it, so you might know it from there. So what you do is just put it in your bra and then you get an electric bit that sits on top of the plastic pump. And then you can pump for up to 30 minutes and it has nine different settings and two different modes on this pump. Which is why I think it's so good because it is so versatile to every different person who uses it. Now I pump quite frequently, so this pump is so good because I can get jobs done around the house like I said and even though there are a few different parts to it it is so easy to put together this pump. Maggie does take bottles as well so it has been really helping 
and that I have been able to get a good freezer stash up from it without having to be tied down to one position. The next thing on the list is something we use every day without fail. Every night we put on Maggie's sound machine to go to sleep. Now I think this is one of the things which has really helped her figure out what is night and what is day. So every night before bed we switch that on and it lets her know now this is the time for her to get settled and fall into a deeper sleep. Maggie has always been quite good with bedtime but this is something I started from a very early age. I think she was about a week old when I got this and it has been a lifesaver. There's been a lot of times where she has been crying and all I've had to do is just put the sound machine on and it stops her. It is, it's quite freaky uh, how quick and how well it stops her. The one I have here, I just got off Amazon. You can just search up sound machines on Amazon and so many will come up. But this one's really good because it has, I don't know if it's gonna do it, you can't really see. It has a light and it changes different colors. So it's really good for breastfeeding during the night because I can just put the night light on and then all you have to do is tap the top and it turns off. And then this is probably gonna sound annoying, but I'm gonna put it on. So this is the setting we use and there is a and there is an up and down button and different sounds. So I'll just play them for you now. As you can see there are quite a few sounds on this machine which is why I think it's so good because you don't even have to have it for a baby I can't sleep without sound I just got used to it during pregnancy because I used to... yeah I got used to it during pregnancy because I had a, my phone as a sound machine so now I can't sleep without it which is quite bad but it is really handy to have this one also has a timer so if you don't want it on all night then you can put it on for 15, 30 or 60 minutes, which is also a really good feature. The last thing on this list is a thermometer. The specific one we have is a, called a grow egg, I believe. So it shows you what the temperature is in your room. And then depending on the temperature, it shows you a different light. So if it's too hot, it'll... So if it's too hot, it'll be a red light. If it's too cold, it'll be a blue light. And just perfect is a yellow light. Now this is really good because Maggie is born in summertime or I think it's still classed as spring at the moment but it's getting a lot hotter. It's a lot easier to be able to tell what to dress Maggie in during the night when this is on because she does get quite hot quite quickly. It does come with a little leaflet with it to tell you how many togs to dress the baby in, depending on what temperature it is. At the moment, Maggie spends a lot of time just in a vest because it is getting so hot at the moment. And I'm sure as summer gets hotter, it will just be a nappy. So I feel like this video was a bit all over the place, but Maggie kept interrupting me. So these are the five products that got me through the first eight weeks of having a baby. Um, thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy, make sure you like, subscribe and comment and leave any video suggestions you have down below. Thank you guys for watching.